Hey, this is Mehdi from FullStackLibrary.com and today we'll learn how to get form submissions into Netlify. Now, what I want to do exactly is let's just get into a page when we can send a form. So we'll go to this landing page right here. And I have a form, name, email, and message. And I want to get this information right here and send them into the Netlify. And I can I can just get them into the cssaddict.com as a recent form submission. So I have a form and I need to set up this form to send information to Netlify. So for that, I need first to edit, let's just enter this full stack library theme. And I need to edit this landing page.html. So let's just go to landing and I'll find the form. Form. And this is the form. I have a form right here and I have a name and email and message and I want to get them from Netlify. So the first thing to do is you need first to remove this action right here. You need to specify this attributes Netlify. And once you add this attributes Netlify, you are just telling Netlify that this is a form that you need to watch. And this is what this attributes do exactly. And the second thing that you need is the name for the form. I will go for landing. Okay, landing, landing four. Now, everything is set. I don't have to add anything else. Mm, let's just save that. Let's just save that. And if we hit Git status, if you remember that this repo right here, so we use Git to deploy it. Now, we have a modification that you need to push into GitHub then GitHub will deploy it. But if you don't if you don't do that, so the form's still the same. If we check that from the developer tool, even if I save the file, because this is online, let's just get into the form. As you see, I have all the code right here. So first let's just add landing.html. Let's just get status. Okay, good. And I will commit that. Update the form. Okay. Now let's just push the changes into the, to the origin master or into this branch right here. And you need to wait for that. If we check from GitHub, this is the full stack library theme repo. And this is the commit right here. I just update the form and this is what I do. I update this, add the attributes Netlify, then add the name for the form. That's it. This is what I do. And we'll wait for that from Netlify. Now let's just go CSS addict. As you see, this is the deployment published. So you need to check for that preview to deploy. Okay, let's just use the inspector to see that if it's working. I need to go to this landing page. Okay, let's just go here and I select the form. And that's it. I have a name, landing form, and method boss. Okay, now let's just test that. I'll go, I will go for my name, Abrahamedi. Then the email full stack library at gmail.com. And thanks for watching this video. Okay, send the message. Cool, I have an alert right here telling me, thank you, your form submission has been received. And to check for that, or for, for to check for this submission, you just need to go right here to CSS Addict, and we have a recent form submission, and I can check that. So this is what I have. Thanks for watching this video, and I can get every submission from Netlify or from sorry, from this part from a recent form submission. So let's just do another submission. Okay, we'll go. Then John, and hello at email. No, no, no. Where are we? Stack library at gmail.com. I'll go for the world. This is a message from cssaddicts.com. Send the message. Okay, your form submission has been received. And if we check that again and I refresh the page, so we'll see that I have a recent form submission, another one, which it is. Hello world, if I click on that, so I have everyone. I can even select all of them and download them as an CSV. And if we open that, so you see that I have some information right here so that I can access to them. 
name email let's just increase the size a little bit because i don't see that name email message and if you open that via excel or you collect that or you drag that into google sheet you ch you'll see that organize it and ssv file organize it but in my case i'm just opening it by text edit okay this is not our subject but now we can link a form from this landing page right here this form right here into netlify and this is an this is the form or this is the code you just need to add the attributes and add a name for the form